Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Uh, now we are going to solve this third problem from the first chapter, that is the measurements of the fundamentals of physics by Resnick Halliday. And the third problem says that the micrometer is often called uh, micron, right? So one micron equals to one micrometer. So let me write that one micron is equal to one micrometers and micro is 10 raised to power minus 6 so we can say that 1 micron is 1.0 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meters now in the first uh, part that is part a it is said that how many microns make up 1 kilometers so from this statement uh, it is said that how much one kilometer equals to how many microns right so one kilometer is equal to how many microns so we need to convert one kilometer into microns so let's say that the solution of part a so we can write that 1.0 kilometer this will be equal to 1.0 kilometers and then we need to cancel out this kilometers we need to cancel out this kilometers so we need to write kilometers in the denominator and meters in the numerators so this will be kilometer and this is meter now we know that one kilometer is 10 raised to the power three meters so this kilometer will cancel out now we want to convert this meter into microns right so we have the relationship between the micron and the meters so we can say that again we want to cancel out this meter so again we need to have meter in the denominator and the micron in the numerator so this is a micron so now one micron is one micron is equal to uh, one into ten is for minus six meters or we can say that this is uh, ten raised to the power minus six meters so this meter will cancel out so this is one point zero kilometer so this is 1.0 kilometer and this is into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 1 multiply by 1 divided by 10 raised to power minus 6 microns so this will be 1.0 uh, sorry this kilometer will cancel out this kilometer cancels out as well so there is no need to write this kilometer so this is 1 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 1 is 10 raised to power 3 and this if we bring this 10 raised to power minus 6 to the numerator so it will become positive so this will be 10 raised to the power plus 6 and this is in microns so 1.0 kilometer is equal to so these powers will add up so this is 10 raised to the power 9 so this is 1.0 kilometer is equal to 1.0 into 10 raised to the power 9 microns. So from this we can say that 1 kilometer is equal to 10 raised to the power 9 micrometers. So 1 kilometer is equal to 10 raised to the power 9 microns. Now in the second uh, part of the problem we are asked that what fraction of a centimeter equals 1 micrometer. So we need to tell that uh, one how much one micrometer is equal to n centimeter. So first of all, I will find the number of micrometers in a centimeter. So we will write that b as one centimeter. So we can say that one point zero centimeter is equal to. So we can say that one point zero. We want to cancel out the centimeters, so we need to write the centimeter in the denominator and we need to write the meters since we know the conversion between the micron and the meter. So we need to convert the centimeter into meters. So now as we know that one meter is 100 centimeter or we can say that 100 centimeter is 10 raised to the power 2. 10 raised to the power 2. So this centimeter cancel out. Now we want to cancel out this meter. So again, we need to write meters in the denominator and in the numerator, we need to write microns. So this will cancel out with the meter. Now we know that one micron is, one micron is 10 raised to the power minus six. 
meters so 10 raised to the power minus 6 so this meter will cancel out so we will write that 1.0 into 1 divided by 10 raised to the power 2 multiply by 1 divided by 10 raised to the power minus 6 microns now this is we can write that this is 1 and 1 divided by 10 raised to the power 2 can be written as 10 raised to the power minus 2 and this can be written as 10 raised to the power plus 6 microns and this is 1.0 and this will be minus 2 plus 6 and minus 2 plus 6 gives us plus 4 so this is 10 raised to the power plus 4 microns so 1 centimeter has 10 raised to the power plus 4 microns now in the problem it is said that what fractions of centimeter equals to 1 micron so we need to write uh, 1 micron in terms of centimeters so we need to divide both sides of equation by 1.0 into 10 raised to power plus 4 in order to have 1 micron so this will cancel out we will be left with 1 micron and 1 divided by 1.0 divided by 10 to the power plus 4 so we can write this as uh, 1.0 and this 1.0 into 10 to the power plus 4 will be 10 to the power plus 4 let me write this as like this and if we bring this 10 to the power 4 to the numerator so it will become uh, 10 to the power minus 4 so this will be multiplied by so we will multiply by 10 to the power minus 4 centimeter so from this we can say that 1 micron is 10 raised to the power minus 4 centimeter. So we can say that from this we can say that 1 micron is 10 raised to the power minus 4 centimeter. Or we can say that 1 micron is 1 divided by 10 raised to the power 4 centimeter. So 1 micron is 1 divided by 10,000 part. 10 raised to the power 4 is, we can write that this 10 raised to the power 4 is 10,000. So if we divide uh, 1 centimeter into 10,000 parts, so that 1 part will be equal to 1 micron. So 1 micron is equal to 1 divided by 10,000 of a centimeter. Similarly, in part C, it is said that how many microns are in one yard. So now we need to convert one yard into one yard into micro microns. So 1.0 yard is equal to 1.0 yard. And again, we need to cancel out this yard. So we need to convert this yard into meters. Why we need to convert this yard into meters since we have the relationship between the micron and the meter. So, so we need to convert this yard into meters. So we know that one yard is 0 0.9144 meters. So one yard is 0 0.9144 meters. And now we know that uh, we want to convert this meters. So this is meters and we have microns. So microns. Now, 1 micron is 10 to the power minus 6 meters. From here, we know that 1 micron is 10 to the power minus 6 meters. So, 1 micron is 10 to the power minus 6. So, meter cancel out, yard cancel out. So, again, we are left with microns. So, this is 1.0 yard and 0 0.9144 divided by 1 will give us 0 0.9144 and 1 divided by 10 is for minus 6 this will cancel out and meter will cancel out and 1 divided by 10 is for minus 6 microns now 1 divided by 10 is for minus 6 can be written as 10 to the power plus 6 if we bring this 10 is for minus 6 to the numerator so its uh, power will become positive so there is no need to write there is no need to write this yards right so this is uh, 0 0.9144 uh, multiply by or we can say there is no need to multiply we can say that this is a uh, one yard is 0 
फोर फोर इन टू टेन रेस टू पावर प्लस सिक्स माइक्रॉन्स नाउ इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई दिस मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड दिस जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन फोर फोर बाय मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड बाय टेन एंड दिस विल बी इन टू टेन रेस टू पावर सिक्स माइक्रॉन्स सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट नाइन वन फोर फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन दिस गिव्स अस नाइन पॉइंट वन फोर फोर I have multiplied this by this. This is this gives us nine point one four four divided by ten into ten to the power six microns. And if I bring this ten to the numerator, so its sign will become the its power will become negative. So this will be nine point one four four into ten to the power plus six into ten to the power minus one. Microns, and we can say that this is nine point one four four into ten raised to power plus five microns. So one yard is nine point one four four into ten raised to power five microns. Now, uh, in the problem statement, we are given uh, these uh, given data in terms of two significant figures. This is a two significant figure. So we need to have all the answers in terms of two significant figures. So we need to write this as two significant figures. So in terms of two significant figures, this is uh, this can be written as nine point one into ten raised to the power plus five microns. So one yard is equal to nine point one into ten raised to the power plus five microns. So this is the solution of uh, this particular problem from. Fundamental of Physics by Rajnik Haliday. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for such more problems solutions.